Well, look, it's a, it's a key piece of advice that we're dependent on from Kerry Chant in order to take action, and that's the appropriate course of action. But, you know, we're encouraging people to do it. Uh, we haven't got the advice which says go and find people and, and make it mandatory, but we are encouraging people right across the community. It wouldn't matter if it's uh, on public transport or uh, in an indoor venue or in a shopping centre. Uh, if you can't physically distance, then you should consider wearing a mask. And that's the position that uh, we've been presented with at this stage from a government perspective, and we're going to encourage people to, to take, take that advice on board and start to wear them. I think it makes enormous sense uh, and uh, I think it's great that these things are, are not compulsory uh, if you could make the masks available and people doing that. But the, the problem is that the uptake, uh, are you going to look at that? Do you think that if there's not sufficient uptake, you might need to introduce rules? Yeah, look, I think that the Chief Medical Officer is obviously going to weigh up the degree of community transmission that's happening and, and that's obviously been a factor in the Victorian decision. But... Uh, certainly in terms of New South Wales public transport system, I mean, uh, the key message that we need to get across is that if you've, if you've got a runny nose, don't go and jump on a train and a bus, go get tested. Um, you know, I think the key point with masks is that they're not the silver bullet. They obviously are part of the armoury, but the, the key element we've got at the moment to ring fence community transmission is very much the testing and the isolation and the retesting and... Uh, people being sensible around the community and not having the large gatherings and, and, you know, as we saw with the bad behaviour on the weekend with the party in Sydney, you know, we need everybody to, to work together and that's where I think it's important. Uh, obviously, masks will be under consideration uh, from the Chief Medical Officer and, and we will work with the union leadership and I want to recognise the RTBU who have made the statements today and, and recognise their position and we want to work with them. Uh, but it's really important that people, you know, adhere to the as much as possible, the physical distancing. And, of course, we haven't put in uh, strict public transport orders, uh, sorry, public health orders on the transport network. We have been sensible in trying to get people to work together, have the green dots which people sit on, use the smartphone application technology to give people load data about their carriages and their buses and advising people to retime their day, work from home, uh, if in the inner city areas, walk, cycle or, you know, drive. And that's what we're trying to achieve. You're down on the south coast now at your home in your electorate, an area that was smashed by the bushfires over mm. summer. Uh, would have been businesses looking to get back some custom during school holidays, get some tourism down there, and now you've been hit by the uh, the pandemic with an outbreak there. Tell us how the community is dealing with all that. Mate, it's heartbreaking. I mean, I you know, drove through Bayman's Bay uh, today, this afternoon, having had two days in Sydney with my transport roller, to see you know, our business community uh, self-regulating. Everybody has bunkered down. Um, we've had this outbreak, uh, you know, last week um, and we've had 600 people tested over the last 48 hours or so, more tests today. And the, the nurses are incredible in terms of the pop-up clinics. They're dealing with a caseload and a demand in terms of, uh, you know, people wanting to get tested at a, at a level that's, you know, just wasn't to be expected. So... We've got hundreds of people who are having to isolate because they were in the Soldiers Club last week and our business community, many have, have opted uh, to, to shut down, bunker down at home and, and let's shelter against this virus at this time until we know what we're dealing with. And it's an evolving story for us. Uh, I'm confident we can ring fence it in terms of Bacon's Bay, but the problem we have with this case is that uh, we don't know the source of where it originally has come from and that's uh, part of the work that the health department's doing at this time in terms of contact tracing. Andrew Constance, thanks so much for joining us.